Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be rating Crested Gecko starter kits. Now I will say we are going to be looking at literally the starter kits, we're not going to be looking at bioactive ones at the moment as they're a bit more advanced. We're looking at if you've just got a Crested Gecko and you're starting off. Now before we begin, I did want to do a massive shout out to the patrons of this channel. Nathan, Leon, Laura, Jezebel, April, Repash, Sabrina, Tracy, Kim, Orgel, Emily, Sarah and everyone else over on Patreon. Honestly, you guys support the channel so much, so thank you so, so much. But back to the Crested Gecko starter kits. Now the prices range quite a bit. I'd say you'll probably be looking at paying a bit more than you would for a Leopard Gecko starter kit. And by the way, like the Leopard Gecko starter kit, I will try to show ones that you can find in the UK, but you can also find in North America and other parts of Europe. So I will do my best. So we're gonna start off with the Exoterra Crested Gecko starter kit. I believe this one would pretty much be available to most of you guys so that's a good start. Uh, let's look at the content. So the first few lines of the key features pretty much describe the tank which to be fair I use Exoterra tanks on my Chihuahua and Crested Gecko, they're fairly good tanks. This one is the smaller one though so it is ideal for a baby or a juvenile. Just be aware as your gecko grows you'll need a larger tank the minimum for an adult crested gecko is 45 by 45 by 60 centimeters so as well as the tank the kit includes decorations which i think they can go into more detail about in the description we just haven't seen it yet uh, a background a multi-functional ornament with new caledonian kanak tribal art built in water and food dish. The Kanak are the indigenous people of New Caledonia, which is where crested geckos are from, if you didn't know. Um, there's also bird's nest fern plants, a day and night LED fixture, which for some reason isn't available in the US kit. I think the LED can definitely be used, but I probably wouldn't use the night feature. Uh, there's an analog thermometer and hygrometer. I would prefer a digital one. And then there's plantation soil, which I think is honestly better than using paper towel. I tried paper towel once, it had absolutely no humidity. I actually don't think this is too bad considering the price and how much the tank alone can cost, so I'm sure it is cheaper in other places, it's a good starting point. They do put down that you get bird's nest fern plants, but um, when I looked on their website at the small kit, which this is, it seems you only get the one, so that's a shame. But for the price point, it's not too bad. You'll need to buy far more plants and branches, and eventually you will have to buy a bigger tank as the gecko grows. There's nothing here I'd say is terrible, and technically it can all be used. I think I'll give it a 3.5 out of 5. Next, let's look at the Zoomed kit. So this is the Naturalistic Terrarium Crested Gecko Kit. Once again, I believe you can get this in US and Canada, Europe and so on. Once again, it's the same size terrarium as the Exoterra kit. So this is really for a baby or a juvenile. Uh, let's look at the content. So we have the terrarium. Eco Earth. By the way, Eco Earth and Plantation Soil are basically the same thing. A small plant, a food and water dish, cork branch, which, you know, it's nice to see a branch included, a Zoomed's own Crested Gecko food, Repti Calcium with D3, Repti Vite, and a Crested Gecko care booklet. Okay, so this has a few more little extra bits in there, like the food and the supplements and so on. I think it's nice they included supplements, even though they are samples, because you should offer your Crested Gecko insects and they need to be dusted. Now, I'm not overly familiar with their food, and personally, I choose Pangea, but if I had a baby that came to me and is on Rapashi before it came to me for example I would start it off on Rapashi. I'm not so sure about the Zoomed Crested Gecko food. Uh, let's quickly look into some of the items included. So I am curious to see what the food and water dish is. Oh okay. Okay so <laughs> these are just dishes. Now personally I think the food needs to be higher up. It needs to be on an elevated platform. You can get feed and ledges fairly cheap nowadays. So to me, this is just a bit like, no, this is pointless. Overall, I think this is okay. Like the Exoterra kit, you'll need far more plants and it will need to be upgraded. The price is pretty similar to the Exoterra one, but I think this may technically include a little more, but it doesn't have an LED and the water dishes are a bit pointless and some of the things you might not use. I think I'm going to give it 
3 out of 5. I feel like I'm being more generous nowadays. <laughs> Now in the Leopard Gecko starter kits video, I did find a fairly good kit over on Internet Reptile, so I figured we'd pop over there and see what they have. Now the only thing I could find was the gold one, so I guess that's what we're going with. It is a bit more expensive than the other ones we looked at today, however it does include a bigger tank, so that might be why. It includes the 45 by 45 by 60 centimeter tank, which is the minimum for an adult. It also has a Shade Dweller kit, which to be fair, I do use one with my Chihua and I could use one with my Crested Gecko. Just one thing I find tricky is a lot of the diets you get for the geckos, like my geckos love Pangea, they include synthetic D3. Now if they had a D3 free range, that'd be ideal. I know Arcadia have Sticky Foot Gold that doesn't have D3 in, but it's one of those things where you're like, well they're getting the D3, though it is synthetic, it isn't as great as natural from a UV kit, um, but I think the market needs to open up more to D3 free diets. <laughs> Then there's a thermostat and heat map. Personally, I'd go through the deep heat projector, but understandably, if you had that alongside the thermostat it needs, this would make this a lot more expensive. So a heat map is a good, cheap alternative. And then there's a dual digital thermometer and hygrometer, and you know, you know I love the digital one, so that's good. Interestingly, at the bottom of the page, it does say what the content does not include. It says supplements and food. We recommend purchasing an elevated plastic bowl and feeding with a varied diet, including Rapashi Pangea foods, as well as gut-loaded, dusted live food. For decorations, they say we believe decoration is a personal choice and prices vary greatly depending on your own tastes. So it's hard to find a one-size-fits-all package for this. Some kits suggest they include this by simply including a bowl and a plastic plant. The reality is that this is absolutely inadequate for decorating a crested gecko vivarium. You should be aiming to provide lots of hides and foliage, ideally covering two to three hides of the terrarium with cork, plants or other similar items to help ensure your gecko feels safe and secure in his or her home. This also helps avoid conditions such as floppy tail syndrome, which is a commonplace issue in geckos kept in bear setup who are forced to rest slash hang vertically for prolonged periods. I actually think it's absolutely fantastic they did include this. I do feel like a lot of starter kits provide decoration, but it's very bare. And if someone didn't know that that is not enough, then the gecko kind of suffers. Similar to the Leopard Gecko starter kit, I do feel like this gives you the tank, it gives you the equipment you may use, um, but it allows you to customise it with whatever substrate and decorations you require. So I think that's pretty good. And since this is a bigger size tank, it should last a lot longer. I'm going to give this four out of five just because I feel if you're not gonna use a UV kit or you want a deep heat projector rather than a mat, then this not, might not be for you. But overall, I think it's a very good, well thought out starter kit. The final kit I have to look at today is the Komodo Crested Gecko Starter Kit and I'm going to be honest with you guys, right off the bat it's not looking good. So firstly, I think this is the most expensive kit we've looked at today and honestly just looking at the photo alone, it doesn't even look like a Crested Gecko setup because there's a hide and a dish on the floor and not much coverage up top. Uh, let's look at the content. Okay, so this is quite vague. It says the enclosure is suitable for young geckos right through to adulthood, but it doesn't actually say what size it is. And to me, from looking at the photo, it looks really short. Let's quickly just shoot through this list. So there's a light dome. I mean, it doesn't tell you if it includes a lamp or it's just a dome. Bark though, that isn't bark in the photo. Two kidney dishes, which, you know, to be honest, an elevated platform with a small food dish would be far better. Orchid bark forest terrain fine. Once again, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know why they keep using bark. Bark isn't like great. You might use it in a bioactive tank for certain plants, but as a general substrate, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, vine, heat mat, dual gauge, spelt wrong. <laughs> I don't want to be that picky, but like, it is spelt wrong and it doesn't, like I'm assuming they mean the thermometer and hygrometer. Um, there's moss, a crested gecko diet, spray bottle and a comprehensive setup guide. Now I was curious to see if Online Reptile Shop, which this is being sold on at the moment, just gave this vague description, but actually no, when I looked around, 
this is probably Komodo's wrongdoing. I'm sure all the shops just copied and pasted the description that they sent, and yeah, it's it's not good. Also though, on this one we can actually see the content a little better, and it does seem like it does include a lamp, but it's a red one, which isn't great. Honestly, from the description to the tank size and the price point, I'm gonna have to give this a one. Like, maybe you could do something with this for a baby, but it's so overpriced. The description of the content seriously needs work, and like, what is the size of the tank? Like, even on Komodo's actual website, where they're showing this kit, they don't tell you what the tank size is. So if anyone's actually bought this and can let me know, that would be great. Did Is it actually better than it looks and how it's described? I don't know, but honestly, this is probably the worst one we've seen today. Anyway, I hope this video has helped. For me personally, back in the day, I went ahead and bought things separately. I also went from using fake plants to now having full bioactive tanks, which I would definitely recommend. But of course, if you're starting off, fake plants may be preferred. So that's fair enough. I was the same. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe. But thank you and goodbye.